Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, World War II Airborne Collector. Apologies on the massive delay of doing these videos, it's been well over a year since I last done one, so hopefully you're going to pick the ball back up and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about my Escape and Evasion kit, which I have here. Um, these are really hard to find, extremely rare, so I thought I'd share with you guys and hopefully you guys in, enjoy it. Um, so these were originally designed for the RAF. Um, also, some were given to the US um, Air Force pilots as well. It was pretty much a kit to help you get back to safety, get back to the UK, and a few items in there to help you on your way. Um, but these were also issued to the um, airborne officers and some enlisted men um, for the for D-Day into Normandy and also Operation Dragoon and also the jump across the Rhine as well. Um, so just going to give you a little view of what it looks like, what to look for if you find one, and also what was inside. So this is made from cloth, but it's also been rubberized, which you can see inside. Sadly, the glue has gone down the side and it's started to separate. Um, but other than that, it's still pretty intact and in good condition. Um, it's stated 1943. You can see the big 43 in the front. You've got an F on the front of that as well, which means for France. And the writing on the bottom there states that if this was found, you need to um, hand it into the local police office or police station. Um, so let's have a little look inside. Now what you'd find in here is, slide it out carefully, is some French money. Some, quite a few cents there to be fair. It's quite a little wedge of money. Obviously to help you bribe someone, buy a train ticket, um, and then also you'd find, if I can slide this out, is a cardboard sleeve. And inside this cardboard sleeve, if I can get it out, is a little hacksaw blade. And it's serrated both sides to help you maybe cut a twig, because I don't think you could do much with that other than that, which is... Don't know. <laughs> and then also a little tiny compass to help you find your way. And then also is a map. Now the, the couple of different variants with this is different sections of France. I happen to have two maps in this. So I have a northern section of the map of northern France and also have a southern section of France. And the reason why I've got Two of these is I'll just explain that in a second. So it's cloth, also been um, waterproof. It's got that same waterproof coating feel to it. Reason of being cloth is that it doesn't make noise when it is um, obviously like a paper one. And also it can be scrunched up and stuck in your pocket on the quick and hidden a lot easier than having a big paper one. And also, that is the southern map that come in the same case. Now, the reason why I've got both sections is that this escape invasion kit originally belonged to my great uncle, who was a Halifax bomber during World War II. So it's really cool to have this, and the mere fact that it was in his pocket throughout the whole time he was flying during World War II. So for me, it's a really cool piece to own, and a really nice piece of history. But, and also, what also links it even more is that airborne troops would have been issued with it. So that's a great piece to own in my collection and also family reasons as well. But yeah, so this is the overview of what the Escape Invasion kit would have looked like. Oh, there is one thing missing in this that I'm on the lookout for was a French phrase card. So it's just a couple of little things of obviously phrases and words to obviously use when trying to find his way back to not stand out so much. But little things to help you find safety and also navigate around France. Hope this video has been a um, little bit interesting. If there's any comments you want to, um, any more like questions, then yeah, feel free to comment. And I'll hopefully answer them for you. And if you want to see any other stuff about my collection, other items, please do comment and I'll try and show you them. I'm also on Instagram, so if you want to check me out on there, exactly the same again, World War II Airborne Collector. Hopefully this has been all right. Give us a thumbs up and give us a subscribe if you want to see some more content. Thank you, guys.